I'm Katrina Ruan. I'm the Minister for Education in the North of Ireland. It's Misha Katrina Ruan, our educus Tushkirt Nahern. And I'm so pleased to be here. And the reason I am, I've been Minister now for four years and every single year this project is a priority for me. I think it's a really good programme and I'm delighted to be part of it. And our department in the North of Ireland is delighted to be part of it. Katie, James and Aidan from St. Louis Grammar School in Kilkeel here at the BT Young Scientist event in Dublin. Katie, can you tell us about your project? Um, well, our project is a water purity tester and it tests the particles. The, the, the light, the LED here, can shines through to the LDR on the other side and the amount of light that passes through the water tells you how pure it is. And have you, has it uh, interested people when you've told them about it? There's been a lot of interest in it. There's been like, many people coming up and asking and there's been lots of questions. And James, have you, how have you enjoyed yourselves down here? We've been here since, what, uh, Wednesday? A couple of days now? Yeah, we've really enjoyed it. It's a great opportunity for us. We've experienced a lot more things and we've been learning a lot more about technology and sciences and it's really helped us a lot if, like decide what future careers we're doing and things like that there. It's, overall, it's been a really great experience for us. Has it been good to sort of be down here with people from other schools and sort of uh, meeting people? Yeah, well, we've made uh, new friends and it's, it's good fun. Like. <laughs> This is our 11th year as organiser and sponsor. Uh, we've been working very closely with both Department of Education in Northern Ireland, but also Department of Education in the South. So it's great to see so many young, uh, keen minds uh, exhibiting their various projects here today. Uh, is it important for BT to support this event? Well, ours, uh, we basically are there to try and encourage the, the STEM agenda, which is obviously the key skills that we need as a business. So anything to do with science, engineering, maths, you know, technology in particular, it's, the, it's very much the lifeblood of what our de uh, company depends on. So that's one of the reasons why we got involved many, many years ago, and every year we try and build it. Are you impressed with the standard of the project, particularly those from the north? Unbelievably impressed. I mean, the standard is very, very high, and every year it gets higher. If you think of it, there was something like 1,700 projects across the island uh, that actually try to make it to the final. About 500 odd get into the final. And when you actually look around, it doesn't have to be very complicated ideas, but sometimes some of the more simple ideas are, are very innovative in, in their approach. So the standard is high, and it continues to get higher. And are you hopeful that some of these people are the, uh, the engineers and the BT employees of the future? Well, absolutely. I mean, if you think of it, uh, we have a, a, a gala event tomorrow night where we talk to some of our business customers and we invite along one of our keynote speakers. And that's a young lad who won the competition in 2005 uh, where he had an idea and he took it out to the market and he sold his company for 5 million euros. So absolutely, there's some incredible gifted uh, students here today. Orla and Lauren here from Mount Lourdes Grammar School in Fermanagh. Orla, can you tell us how have you enjoyed yourself down at the exhibition today? Oh, it's been brilliant. It really has. The place is buzzing and there's just so much to do. And have you enjoyed meeting people from other schools? Yeah, it's been brilliant. You know, meeting... It's everything you expected to be, really, and more. Uh, tell us a bit about your project. Well, basically, we got um, the inspiration from Smine Flu. Right. We saw that it was a problem, very topical at the moment, and we needed something to solve it. So we thought of this here. Um, it's just basically an automatic sanitizer, which sanitizes the door after a person has pushed, which after a person has passed through it. Right. Uh, how long have you been working on the project? Well, um, there was actually a team from our school last year that went down to um, BT Young Scientist, BT Young Scientist, and we, um, you know, from hearing what they had to say about it, and we re we wanted to get down, so um, we sat down, we thought of an idea, you know, swine flu was in the media, topical, something something everyone knew about, some people were even scared of, so we thought that it would be appropriate to base the project on that. So you were inspired by previous entrants to, to get involved? Yeah. 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 And has it helped you with your study of STEM subjects? Yeah, it has. It has helped us. It's really given me an interest in technology and science even more than what I had, basically. We looked at the Giant's Causeway in Ballycastle. We looked at the columns that are formed there and we wanted to investigate how these columns are formed. So what we done was research and found that corn flour cracks in a similar way. So what we done was we set up a few experiments with corn flour and done a few analysis of these um, experiments and we got to a stage where we found that the cracking is due to the rate of water loss. So to bring it back to the, the, the Giant's Causeway, what we can do is we can say that the cracking in the basalt columns is due to the rate of uh, it's due to the rate of uh, heat loss. 
So that, and then the cracking patterns form the exact same way. Uh, have you enjoyed yourself down here at the exhibition? Uh, it's been very good. Uh, it's been very, very good. Uh, does BT Young Scientists and Technology exhibition does it encourage you to continue with your STEM so studies? It does definitely, definitely does. Yeah. One of the things that's noticeable from the north this year is the increase in numbers of projects on technology, and I, one of the things we need to show is that this is very wide ranging. The STEM subjects are very wide ranging. There's wide ranges of careers. You don't just have to go into tra to traditional careers and it's very important that we continue to support science, technology, engineering and maths. I want to see in the north more secondary schools, I want to see um, further education colleges, you know the 16 to 18. And to, s to change the image of science, make it dynamic, fun, innovative, interactive and team-led and that's what this project does and that's what makes it so important.